My parents immigrated to Canada back in the 70s, and they didn't speak English and the language, so they faced a lot of challenges along the way. So they showed me that a lot of hard work and focusing on education was the key to a successful career. I wanted to go to a school that would let students get hands-on with the work that they're doing. I wanted something that it wasn't just lectures and sit down and study and do your test. BCIT has really good co-op programs, they have really good projects that you can work on, really ties in with industry, really asks us the questions of what does the industry want, and that's how the curriculum is driven. When looking at post-secondary schools, I was looking for a school that would give me the tools to be successful soon after I graduated. So BCIT was the obvious choice for me. So there was a geology instructor and a physics instructor who had this uh, iPhone app that could measure the density of concrete blocks to determine whether they could withstand earthquakes. They wanted all of that data to be instantly transmitted to a website so that somebody in Vancouver could interpret the data and read it. So that was the project Michelle was involved with. It was taking the data that was being uploaded from the iPhone app and to, uh, it happened to be uh, Amazon Web Services. She also worked on an app that we used in the simulation lab to support student nurses and nurses that are transitioning to practice. So I developed an Alexa skill that allowed nursing students to interact with Alexa as if it was like a nursing assistant. So it could ask things like, oh, give me the person's blood tests. And it would display the information and just like lift it out as if like someone else was standing next to you and just reading out the chart. So it had a large impact on nurses because it allowed them to focus on their patients that they were looking after in the simulation lab and not get bogged down with finding the paperwork or looking for the results that they need to provide care. So they flew us to Calgary to present our Alexa skill to the doctors and nurses there at the conference. It was an incredible experience to be a part of. The people there thought we were professionals, had no idea that this was part of a school project. Michelle's accomplishments with her school projects at BCIT eventually led her to succeed as an intern with a company called Elastic Path. She was so good, in fact, they quickly took her on full time. Two years ago in 2017, they hired two of our graduates. Um, to be software developers at their company. And then in the early part of uh, 2018, just before summer, the same company approached me and said, we would like to hire three interns for the summer. So I work as for developing demos the sales team can use to show to potential prospects and see like, hey, this is our software and this is what it can do. Like you can only learn so much in the classroom, right? And there can only be so many scenarios that you do. But the real world isn't a one solution answer. And BCIT really t teaches you to just get, get yourself out there and really just try to answer the big questions. Figuring out what school is the right fit for someone is a challenge, so I'm really happy I made the decision I did. BCIT is a school that can give you the tools to be successful.